living the dream, sitting on a rainbow, riding the unicorn of happiness. I only got three, <laughs> so that's all we got. But um, yeah, it's a good day. The weather's going to be awesome. Um, a real perfect day, comfortable in terms of humidity and beautiful in terms of sunshine. And if you want to take it to the beach, looks like Mother Nature's saying, why don't you go right ahead? So outside here downtown, we have temperatures that are in the 50s. It is a rather cool start. Um, we are running about five degrees cooler than average. But as we're looking ahead, we're looking at a spectacular day today. A fabulous Friday, as you will. Labor Day weekend is going to start off dry for Saturday. We are going to see a good deal of cloudiness in for Saturday. And the weekend will also feature a boost in heat and humidity. Into that, we're going to bring a front that will be here on Sunday, Saturday night, really, into Sunday. Um, and that's going to give us a chance of not only showers but thunderstorms and then we go into a really beautiful stretch that will take hold after Labor Day weekend. So that's just a quick preview of what we have to look forward to right now. Our temperatures are ranging from the chilly 40s from Norwood and Taunton 48 there now. We have 51 in New Bedford, 57 along the south coast, 62 out on the block and again we're here at 55 downtown. Our dew points are in the 50s and 40s as is the case of Taunton and Norwood and our dew points are expected to run about 55 today so that puts us very firmly in the comfortable side of the scale here. Um, but as we go into the weekend, we're going to see that change. Humidity is going to be dialed up. Those dew points will be going in the 60s to near 70 by the time we get to Sunday. Winds are generally light to calm across the region. Our wind direction bringing in air from the north and the northeast, and that's helping to keep these guys, these showers at bay. Now that's all part of an area of low pressure that brought some really impressive weather to portions of Pennsylvania last night. It has a cold front that drags to the south. It's got this warm front that's sort of hanging right here just to our southwest, but we're not expecting it to come through. What we're looking at is just a day full of sunshine temperatures that will be coming from the 50s into the 60s by 8 a.m. Once we get to your lunchtime hour, our peak high temperatures in the early afternoon will be in about 77 to 75 across the bulk of the region. That includes right on down to the coast. Westerly may be a little bit cooler at about 69. If you are beach bound, tote along a sweatshirt, you should be fine. Um, now, in terms of overnight tonight, conditions should be great if you have any plans during the evening. Overnight, we're going to roll in some clouds, so increasing clouds is our forecast for tonight. And Saturday, we'll have a blend of sun and clouds, but as of now, we're looking at an increase in humidity, an increase in temperatures with highs near 80, but precipitation should hold off until we get to Sunday. This is when we're going to bring a cold front into to a very warm and muggy environment. As a result, it's going to be very easy to fire off a scattered shower or thunderstorm and temperatures once again will be peaking near 80 degrees. But once we get past that, we're looking at better conditions to finish the holiday weekend on Sunday. So uh, lots to look forward to. Um, in terms of our weekend weather, it's just Sunday. If you have Sunday plans, it's definitely going to be the day to watch. And most of the activity is expected to happen during the morning hours. The holiday looking great and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, a perfect trio of days after the holiday. Alyssa? Well, that's